Much love and appreciation, family. So for all of the brand new men's and women's shirts that you see and, and the limited edition sneakers that you see here, please visit the comment and or the description below the video. Thank you. To a student is changing the way we drink water with a straw. WJTV 12's Linnea Lewis spoke exclusively to the creator, Linnea. Lamonte Pierce says what started out as a collaboration between Jackson State University students turned into a much bigger invention that would eventually prevent people from ingesting lead through drinking water. Uh, JSU. Lamonte Pierce and his classmates from different majors were asked to find a solution to a problem in Mississippi. Mm. They chose the constant boil water notices issued by the city of Jackson. The solution? A filtered straw. The guy who I was partnering with, uh, Andrew Willis, he's in, he's in business, marketing, finance, and all of that. Uh, basically, he kept contacting me over the summer, and he was like, you know, we need to continue to do this. We need to keep doing this. I think you hit on something big, and I think it, it'll do something. So I was like, yeah, we can try that out. For the past couple of years, Pierce says he's been researching different types of filters and materials that would be safe to use, eventually creating a prototype straw called Clean yeah. Straw. A lot of them do not filter out lead. Uh, I've seen some where they were drinking out of toilets, they were drinking uh, from the river, different things like that, and they use simple uh, filters that you can find in everyday filters. But the thing was, they did not filter out lead. So my main target was lead. If we can filter out lead, we can pretty much filter out anything. Pierce has received impressive offers from big retailers like Walmart that would generate over $200,000 in sales, but he says he's still looking for the right investor. He's confident when one comes along, clean straw will benefit the economy and consumers. Take the responsibility of clean water directly out of the government and state and city officials' hands and just put it in the hands of the consumers. If you want clean water, here you go. You don't have to wait on the... the uh, you know, the money to be right for the government to fix this, or fix that. You know, here you are right here. Pierce says when everything falls in place, he has a vision to open up a factory right here in the capital city uh, to bring Lamonte in more. Lamonte Pierce says he started designing Clean Straw a few years ago to combat Jackson's consistent boil water notices. The patented technology was made using a 3D printer. Pierce says the filter inside of each Clean Straw can filter up to 20 gallons of liquid. His goal was to make the product that could be used by anyone. Basically compete to the point where people can have that alternative to say, hey, do I wanna buy all of this water, waste all of this plastic, and then on top of that, the water is not even right. really filtered. It's just being labeled as filtered or mm -hmm. spring water, but in actuality, it's simple tap water. So in here, you have an opportunity to buy something that can filter your water. Not only just uh, particles, but also reduce lead. Pierce says that major companies like Walmart have already shown interest in selling the product in stores. With some additional testing, he hopes to have the straw on sale. Hello, everybody. I'm actually about to do a little test to show you all how powerful clean straw is. Right here, I have a empty container, which is basically a clear top. And here I actually have a glass water container. Uh, I made my own lead solution. There's basically lead weights and water in it. It has been leaching for over a year with these lead weights in it. And I know for a fact that it is actually over 3,000 parts per billion, which is well over the EPA standard guideline testings, which basically require you to take action if your water has more than 15 parts per billion. So again, I said this is over 3,000 parts per billion. So what I'll do is this. I'll take the actual baby dropper, get a little water out of here, lead water. And then I'll put it through clean straw, which is here. And let me slide it back so you see it. And what I'll do is I'll pour the water directly through clean straw. That way people can see how powerful clean straw is. As you can see, the water in the clear water bottle, which is basically full of lead and lead beads and just lead contamination all throughout the bottle, you'll see how cloudy and hazy it looks. 
that shows you that it is a very, very high concentration of lead. The top on the left side where I am pouring the water through, which is actually going to be going through the clean straw filter, you'll actually see that the water is actually coming out clear. I just wanted to basically show everybody how powerful this is. That way people won't think I am just making it up as I go. So you can definitely see the difference. So, let's make the video a little shorter. What I'll do is I'll just basically hold it up next to the hazy bottle, let you see the difference in comparison. You can practically see through the water. Mm -hmm. Compared to how hazy and dirty this is. So, clear water, hazy water, lead contaminated water. The writing on it, of course, it just says lead water. But, yeah, clear water versus hazy water. And there you have it. So let's get this straight. This young brother came up with the main focus of trying to eradicate or trying to really alleviate as much lead as possible from water. And... This was literally two men, right? Because he said he it was, you know, him and, you know, somebody else. But he was the main person that decided to push, you know, forward with the, you know, the whole idea. And he came up with this and had it printed with a 3D printer. So you mean to tell me that the billions upon billions of dollars that we use for wars, that we use for politics, um, that we use for law enforcement, um, that we use to enact laws that really don't work. You mean to tell me that one man, literally, in a sense, with a 3D printer, was able to make a filter that can get rid of the greater majority of lead out of water, but yet we still have places like, what, Georgia, uh, Flint, I think some areas in Philly, and other um, states that deal with water and that deals with, you know, different types of, you know, microbes and different types of poisoning in water. He did this with no type of government backing. He did this with, you know, essentially no backing at all. No government, you know, no outside sources or anything like that. If you listen to the words that he's saying, he's saying that he wants without, he's saying it without saying it. So I'm going to clarify for a lot of people, just in case you didn't get it. He's saying that he wants um, that invention to be in the people's hands. He doesn't want the government. He doesn't want no type of secret investors. If the community can get together and bring a check forth and push it, he will then produce it. Understand what I'm saying? Like I said, he was saying it without saying it, but obviously a lot of people aren't catching on. He doesn't want the money from the government because he knows that if the government gets their hands on it, that they're going to change it or they're going to do something to it where either it won't act as it should or they'll throw him out of the patent, right? They'll try to basically buy him out and then they'll uh, take the IP for that and then they'll modify the IP 72 different ways and have a patent on each and every one, basically cutting him out of everything, right? Because they'll pay you, like, let's say if he gave that to the government, they'll like, okay, that's a great idea. Um, We'll give you $10 million for it. When realistically, that's worth a billion plus dollars by itself. People don't believe me? Think about all the nations across the land. That doesn't just filter lead. He just wanted to go after the hardest thing to uh, to get rid of, 
right? That filters more than just lead. Understand what I'm saying? And the lead, the, the lead water that he was using, he let that sit with those lead balls in it for a year. So just imagine if you have water that doesn't have that much lead. What if it has that uh the 14 or the 15 parts per million that he mentioned? You your your water is clear of lead with that straw. And it can go, it can um, be used up until I think he said 20 gallons. That's a lot of water. That is a lot of water. And that can help a multitude of people in a multitude of different countries. That idea by itself is a gold mine. That can be the next trillion dollar business. Like I said, people worried about Amazon. Amazon sells everybody else's stuff. It's just a warehouse. That by itself, that one idea is a trillion dollar business. He knows exactly what that is. And he wants it to be in the people's hands. But can't nobody tell me that black people aren't creative. Nobody can sit up here and tell me that black people don't invent. Because right now, as I'm living and breathing, I'm looking at a multitude of inventors. Right? And, you know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start bringing you guys a lot more videos um, similar to this or like this. So let me know what you guys think about this man's invention um, and his brilliance in the comment description below. And as always, peace, love, and stay tuned for the next video.